Absolutely. Really, it is filling up. The excitement is building and building. I was just speaking with the communication director and he says they are very optimistic. They're very excited to see what's happening with the race for John James and John James's race, as well as the numbers coming in for President Trump. But of course, it's not just the presidential and the Senate race that they have their eyes on. Uh, U.S. Representative hopeful uh, Paul Young is here tonight and we'll perhaps be able to speak with him in a little bit. He is um, going up against a Democrat. Elisa Slotkin. Now they are in the district, the eighth district, and that really has been a bit of a swing district. It was Republican. Eliza Slotkin was able to flip it two years ago into a Democrat district, and they're hoping to take that back tonight. Of course, a lot of big races, and even the U.S. Or I'm sorry, the state Supreme Court is something they have their eyes very close on. Of course, justices don't run as Republican or Democrat, but they are nominated by either the Republican Party or the Democrat Party, and currently are state Supreme. Supreme Court has four justices nominated by Republicans and three justices nominated by Democrats. And here tonight, they're hoping to get news that retains the Republican majority in the state Supreme Court. A few weeks ago, the Michigan Supreme Court ruled that uh, the governor's actions with her executive orders were unconstitutional in her lockdown executive orders. And so that kind of brings to light how important it is to have rule of law judges in the Michigan Supreme Court. So we feel really confident that we're going to elect two rule of law judges in uh, Mr. Schwartzel and Ms. Kelly. Now, they're also telling me that they have two and a half times the number of poll challengers and poll watchers and uh, ballot counting watchers than they did back in 2018. They said that is in part due to the excitement of the volunteers, and they think that that's really going to translate to the polls. So a lot of optimism here tonight. Of course, those numbers still coming in. Reporting live in Lansing, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.